What's up guys? It's Southbound Truck Driver again. I got the most beautiful woman in the world with me. There she is. You see her not too long, okay? But um so I posted a video the other day and it was about French poodles. No, I'm playing. <laughs> I posted a video the other day and it was about our trip um our trip has been magnificent 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 we're currently at a lumber yard right now um i think we've done this is our fourth load for the week it's friday night we're tired we did the 1500 monday then we did that was steel beams what did we do after that after the steel beams what did we do after the steel beams uh, the coil yeah and then what did we do after the coil what did we just drop off today Some type of steel, steel like steel beam, steel uh, angle iron, stuff Bunches. like that. Yeah. Now we're picking up lumber, so that's four loads for this week. Um, not really, but somewhat. I'm tired. I've been driving every day since I came out last Tuesday. <laughs> I haven't had one day off. Can you even treat me like a queen? Yes, there she is. You see her. She's not lying. She's not lying. Um, so I just kind of want to put a little video out. Um, I know I haven't been posting regularly like I usually do. And I know I've promised y'all a lot more with a new camera. Um, but I've kind of been busy spending time with my wife, you know. But once I drop her off, I'm going home tomorrow. Hopefully, I'll be home tomorrow. Um, and once I drop her off, do my thing at the house, then I'll start posting more when I come out by myself. I um, just kind of want to get this out. If I do get this out, probably be when, I, uh, when I'm at the house. I mean, I've been running so much. I'm actually running on negative time right now. Yeah, negative time right now. So I don't even have time left. I mean, yesterday I had five hours. Today I had eight hours. And it's just been, I'm tired. I am, I am tired. I need some sleep. I just want one day. I just want one day that I can actually sleep in to like noon. But I don't know when I'm going to get it. Probably Sunday, I think. And then that's going to be the only day. Because Monday I have to go drop this load. And then come back home. Go to probation. And then Tuesday I have to go to the doctor. Do some lab work. And then Wednesday I have to go home. Get back out on the road again. Oh, I fell asleep. Okay, anyways. Let me go. I'm ready to get loaded. I love y'all. Y'all take care and I'll post this when I get home. What's going on guys? Southbound truck driver back at you again. It's Saturday. We're still at this lumber yard. We sat here six hours yesterday. And not knowing much about running out of time. I never ran out of time and sat and worked. I mean, I really never run out of time. I've never run out of time at Western. And been at a place and picking up a load. So that was my first time for real. Well, last night, we ran out of time, and uh, we were still on duty. I was in, uh, what you call it mode, uh, yard move. That way I could get around the yard because I was having to drive around. I didn't want to mess up my getting violation. Well, I stayed in yard mode for six hours, And it went on the time that I was getting back today. Because my time's rolling over. So now we don't have enough time to make it home. So we're going to be out here another day. So we haven't had a bath in three days. What's 
today is the third day. So we're just gonna rough it again. And uh, we're not worried about it. <laughs> I'm telling a fib, we're worried about it. Now we're gonna get a bath right now. We're actually fixing to pull out. Um, but I'll put this together when I get home and I'll keep y'all updated. And I love y'all. And uh, stay southbound, baby. What's going on, southbound truck driver? Back at you again. I got the lovely mess. And we are headed home, guys. Ran out of time late yesterday. I think I told you on the last video we had about five and a half hours. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Five and a half hours. Uh time and we needed five and a half hours so we weren't gonna make it um so we stopped and got a shower because we hadn't had a shower in three days so we got a little rest last night i think today's number tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday or tuesday wednesday thursday friday saturday sunday Monday. Thirteen. Thirteen days I've been driving straight. No day off. Thirteen days today. And I gotta take this and drop it off tomorrow. And then come back home. For one day. And go to my probation. And then Tuesday, I think I get the whole day off. And then Wednesday, I got to go back out. I told them that, um, <clears throat> I told them that I want to stay out on the weekends to get long loads on the weekends. <laughs> that way, I could just keep making money, you know. But it's... With the economy being the way it is, uh, economy's not doing good. So I'm trying to get back home on the weekends. You know, I don't know, man. Me and my wife added it up. A 300 mile load. Anywhere from three to five, six hundred mile load. It takes me. <clears throat> around two days to do it. You gotta pick it up. You gotta drive it. Then you gotta drop it. Two days. <clears throat> you make anywhere from 250 to 350 depending on the mileage. Walmart's paying $15 an hour at seven hour shift. 200 something dollars. Or $220. Uh, do the math. Okay, bye. Yeah, hundred five dollars. So let's say let's say I made three hundred dollars on a load on a two day load. Three hundred dollars. All right, that'd be one hundred fifty dollars a day. Now Walmart is paying fifteen dollars an hour. Let's say seven hour shift. Let's say eight hour shift. Let's do it right. Eight hour shift. That's one hundred twenty dollars. I make an extra thirty dollars. That's three ten dollar bills. That's six five dollar bills. That's thirty one dollar bills extra. We're gonna stop right there on that discussion. Um, but yeah, we're going home. Probably post this video. I'm tired. Going home and going to sleep. I'm not going to visit with my family. I'm too tired. They gonna have to visit with Papa on the bed. Well, Papa all tired. As y'all can see, I'm kind of ill today. My wife made me royally mad. <laughs> no, I did not. No, she did not. She don't make me mad. Yeah, One thing that makes me mad about my wife is I can't spend more time with her. But I love y'all guys. We just ate Hardee's. The eggs were greasy. 
greasy eggs. Oh, and I'm getting rid of this Garmin 1000. Do not buy it. It's trash. It does not have the satellite view, which they call it the bird's eye view. It does not show you none of the buildings. It's trash. The T and TN is the way to go. The, this one was 640 without tax. The T and TN is 9, 9, 899 between 899 and 909 without tax. You got to get the the screen protector for it, and you got to get the the three year insurance. You have to get insurance. They pay off if anything happens. Every time we've never had a problem with it. We get it at Walmart, we get it at Home Depot, we get it at Lowe's, we get it wherever we can. We get the extra insurance. Everything we buy that offers it, we get it. We'll go ahead and factor that in. So check into it, guys. We love y'all. We're fixing to head on out. I'm doing my uh VIR. If anybody knows what VIR stands for, um leave it down in the comments and you can win a lifetime supply of my love all of my love but i love y'all guys thank y'all for everything and stay southbound baby here it is monday oh i ain't even been at the house i got home yesterday Left this morning around nine. I ain't had a day off yet. I ain't had a day off yet. I told them today. I said I want to start coming back home on the weekends. This ain't work. It ain't worth it being out here all month. All of these other guys, they go home on the weekends. Almost every weekend. And they're making about the same amount I'm making. I'm just tired, man. I need a day off. I just need a day off. I'm physically tired. I'm mentally tired. I don't even know if I'm going to make probation today. I doubt I will. I got to call him and let him know. I need to let these people know. They take forever here to unload. One person has been unloaded since I've been here, and I've been here going on thirty-seven minutes. <clears throat> Guess I'm gonna try to get a little nap in. Got to drive back home. If you tell me you love me, 
then I'll tell you I love you too. But don't break my heart. Don't break my heart. Or I'll make you <laughs> eat my shoe. That's brought to you by Toys R Us. Toys R Us. All right, guys. My name is Arnold, and I'm back uh, with this week's round of applause. Going to Swift. <laughs> Ow. So, I'm here getting unloaded. I'm here getting unloading, guys. Yeah, I'm here getting unloaded, man. Uh, fix to go home. I can't report today because of bad weather. I gotta lock this door. No, because of bad weather, they're closing at three. So I have to report tomorrow. <laughs> This guy's weirding me out. He gets off, he's driving two forklifts. Don't ask me why. He's driving two forklifts. And he gets off one. He's jumping around. He parked one down there and then he came back. Here he comes with the paperwork. He said, man, I hate my floorboard being dirty. I don't like no dirt in my floor. I don't. I don't like, oh, did I tell you about my credit? I got that, uh, diesel. Da, da, da. <laughs> the guy goes, man, it's blowing everything around. I got that uh, credit loan, that, that consolidation loan. The credit went to 753. It was at 650. Yeah. My credit shot up 100 points, 750. Now that is crazy. 753. See, I was going to get a house. I was going to buy a house, okay? Um, compose, you can call. No. I was going to buy me a house, but, you know, I got to talking to it about the wife. 09087-6492. And nope. Chasing it. One seven two two seven three. One seven two two seven three. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Man, I got dust in my lungs. So I was telling the wife. Anyway, hold on. I gotta get back with Jack. I drive. I don't want to get fired for driving. Why this thing's recording. I love y'all guys. And I'll get back with y'all. I don't know when, but I'll get back with y'all. Love y'all. Take care. Alright guys, southbound truck driver back at you again. We got this guy trying to back up. We don't know if he's going to make it or not. We're here in Axis, Alabama. Oh, he made it. He made it. He made it. He made it. Woo, he made it. He came in here hot. He was mad. When he came in here, he was mad, guys. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting, but now I'm by myself. So it's going to be a whole new ball game. Uh, we're going to get more videos out. I'm still going to have to wait till I get to a Loves to use their data. Because now, since I've got so many Platinums every month, you know the data that you have to pay for at the Loves? they got two different types of data. they got data that's 
uh, free and then they got premium data when now after you get so many platinums you get the premium data free didn't know that so now um I don't have to pay for the premium so I can just download what I want I can do what I want when I want I'm fixing to make a little video just to post something to have something posted uh, through my through my phone I'm downloading a bunch of stuff off the map I got this Garmin okay and it gives me the option to do the bird's eye view which lets me see the map in satellite mode okay I get to see different things like uh, what the buildings look like basically but I can only figure out how to do it for little squares at a time and I have to actually take the time and say yeah I want to download that square blah 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 let's download it I can't just if it was up to me I'd be like let's download the whole United States I got the I got the room I got the card let's do it but no it won't let you do it it makes you do one little square at a time and that's probably like a a mile you know a, a, a square mile I think maybe two miles it's not big it's really not big but all the experience that I've had with the Garmin so far way better than than Trucker's Path. Yes, Trucker's Path does tell you how many people is at the truck stop. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Um, but you can get that for free. You don't even have to pay for that. So, I, I discontinued my subscription. Yeah, I discontinued it. I'm done. drinking a uh, diabetic shake right now trying to get my blood sugar right but yeah I discontinued it I'm not going to pay for that because like I said that one route it really ate my hide now that's an old saying I don't know if you ever heard that before it really ate my hide I pulled out of this one place got this load and I was needing to go to this uh, I was needing to go to a uh, truck stop which is the Loves it was 25 miles and the road that I pulled out on coming from picking up the load was going to take me straight to the loves no turns no twists straight shot truckers paths got me on some back road in the boonies I mean it was it was redneck yeah, I'm redneck I know it was back in the boonies the roads were so small that my passenger side tires were on the grass at some points when I was passing people I mean and it took me like instead of just taking it took me like up over a little bit come down go over come back up blah, blah, blah. It, it looked like a heartbeat on one of them little uh, television things you know the little line of do, 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 do. Yeah, that's what it basically that's what it was. And I was like maybe there was a bridge or maybe there was something else and I tried it with another uh I forgot what else I tried. I mean it was it was ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know I don't know man. But needless to say, I'm done with it. I'm done with Trucker's Path. I supported it for a year. I paid the $100. I even left them a bad review on Google. Not necessarily because I'm mad, which I am, but being the fact that I'm trying to help another driver. Hey, look, don't purchase this. At first, it was great. I loved it. I stood behind it. I told everybody about it. Trucker's Path is the way. A trucker's Path is the way to go. Pay the hundred dollars. Let's do it. You know what I mean. Let's get it. 
but there at the end trying to keep my business paying that another hundred for the next year they weren't doing a good job so I canceled it but Garmin oh my god Garmin is a total game changer total game changer um it's really changed my life it's changed my life it's changed my trucking uh, it saves me so much time needless and I do use truckers path to find places to stop but in order to load the route I have to turn my phone off turn it back on and then let it be the first thing I do is load that route now you're saying well maybe you got a lot of stuff on the phone going on or this that blah blah I can watch YouTube, I can check emails, I can do I, all this other stuff. But when it comes to using Trucker's Path, got to reset the phone. Total reset. And that's not something I want to do every time. Even when I was paying for it. My, prescri my subscription's not even up yet on the 17th. And I still can't even use it without resetting my phone, turn my phone on and off. I deleted the app twice and re-downloaded it. No. It's crazy. I don't want to, you know, it's, it's like being in a bad relationship. I don't want to live like that no more. She can go. That's how I feel about Trucker's Path. But I got this little load, I think it's like 230 miles. I'm going up to North Mississippi. I'm going to go drop it, and I think I got to get back to the terminal to get. Uh, I got to pick up my IFTA stickers. Yeah, my IFTA stickers are bad. Um. Been told. All right, guys. So let me go and make another little video on my phone, and I'll have this one out. I think there's like four or five videos I got put together. Some left over from the trip. The wife, she was so sad, so sad. She calls me. I ain't been gone but an hour, a couple hours, and she called me about. To, I thought she was gonna cry. Poor thing. She woke up this morning and she was like. She said, hold me like you used to when we was on the truck. <laughs> Poor thing. She loves me to death. Because, you know, on the truck, the bed's small. You know, you, you cuddle up. I told her, you cuddle up like two rabbits in a hole in the dead of winter. You know what I mean? We snuggled. And I'm going to tell you what. To all you guys who think, yeah, I couldn't take my wife out here with me. It just wouldn't work out, blah, blah, blah. It's the best thing that happened to me. It's the every single time we've I've had her out here with me. It builds our relationship because it gives us time for just me and her. Yeah, for just me and her. And don't don't get it twisted. You know I love my family, but sometimes mom and daddy needs time for just them. You know what I mean? And uh, we loved it. We really did. We loved it. We're, we're going to do it again one day. I don't know when, but we absolutely loved it. But with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Uh, I'll be collabing these videos together shortly. And y'all take care and stay southbound. All right, guys. This is Southbound Truck Driver, and I'm back with you again. I've been sitting here for four and a half hours. I don't know where it stops and it's 
starts to begin. Oh, like I said, I've been sitting here for four and a half hours. I don't even know if I got the right date. Am I supposed to be here today? I mean, seriously. I know you're on like southbound. You're crazy. But maybe, maybe I'm not crazy. Maybe I'm a, just a little insane. I gotta get my charger and charge up. My, oh. So look, this is the speaker that I put. I hooked it up to that Bluetooth. Because it's got a little speaker on it, don't get me wrong. But it's really not that loud, guys. And being not that loud, there's a good possibility that I could miss my turn. I mean, guys, it's going to be late by the time I get out of here. Probably like 8. Look at that three-way charger I got for my camera. So this thing holds three batteries. Yeah. And I got a 256 gig card in my camera so I'm always I'm always ready um there you go there's your little light sorry about that guys it's getting dark it's getting dark where I'm at it's getting dark where I'm at I don't want to upset nobody um I just want to be the life of the party getting dark I don't want to upset nobody I just want to be the life of the party guys to be honest with you I don't know what to do I mean, it doesn't require tarpon. So I'm alright on that level. So I'm fixing to charge this up. This is my little Sensi. Took a little bit of that glade has an old sensi pot in it it's got a little smell to it <clears throat> but it's the same smell profile as my glade you know i keep glades in the truck plug in anyways i um, plugged the glade pulled it out of the thing and i squeezed a little bit of that oil onto the sensi sensi pod to kind of add some more smell to it and believe it or not it worked i don't know about y'all guys i mean you're probably like oh my god i would never have no sensi pies in my chunk what the hell with me 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 i want my truck to smell good i want my truck to smell good senor So that's why I had this sensi. I'm going back to my roots on that. That's why I had this sensi. That's why I have this sensi, senor. Okay, let's look at this uh, documentation we got from work. Now it says. One eleven. Okay, I did what I was supposed to. I'm here at one eleven. And it's gotta be delivered at one twelve. Twenty eight and two. Two hundred two miles. 
I may just shut down after this. Think about going home, but you know, if I go home, it's gonna be hard to get up out of there. So I'm thinking about just staying here. I don't know. I may not even find a parking spot over there by my house. I mean, I guess I could drive to the Alabama state line. Well, no. <clears throat> no, I couldn't. No, I'm not even going by my house. Yeah, I'm not even going by my house, guys. Yeah. Crazy case 10 minutes ago. Oh, crazy case. I don't know about old crazy case. I don't even look like it's a real place. 138 miles. I mean, tomorrow's Friday. <clears throat> it ain't like I'm going to be getting one to, uh, it's not like I'm going to be getting one to go, go drop it tomorrow. Pick it up in the morning, drop it in the afternoon. So it'll be an all weekend thing so i'm just gonna i might just chill man yeah i'm not going by the house might just chill and run it in the morning because it's already five o'clock you're gonna have afternoon traffic it's gonna be taking me through uh small towns people are getting off work it's gonna take me a lot longer to get through these places Yeah, I think there's a pilot. What does this thing got me going? There should be a pilot right down the road from here. Oh, it's back the other way. Oh, it's got me going farther down towards Mount Vernon. Wow, guys. Wow. <clears throat> Let's get the real GPS out. I agree. Select view map. All right, it's calculating. Please drive to highlighted route. <gasps> oh, it just told me to drive to the highlighted route. If anybody's never used a GPS, that's something serious. If it says, please drive the highlighted route, you better. Now, I'm telling you, there used to be an old song that goes, Don't you know no good? Don't you know no good? All right, well, I don't know. That's up 45. I think it's gonna be 45 all the way until it changes into whatever it changes into. Yeah. Yep, it's gonna be 45. 
Yep, 45, 45, 45, and then it's going to turn into 45. Oh, yeah, so I'll be getting off 540. I'll be getting off 45, and then going to 145, and then going to 14 to the left, to the west. All backwoods. Yep, all backwoods, buddies. All right, we're probably just going to stay here then for the night. <clears throat> I mean, because the nearest thing after this place... I mean, there's a truck stop, midway truck stop. You got crazy K's. It doesn't show that there's overnight parking or nothing. Great place for a break, but now the restaurant is not open seven days a week anymore. They are closed Mondays and no notice. Very nice. Well stocked seat store and the dinner made me one of the best bacon Diner maybe one of the best bacon cheeseburgers you'll ever eat. Made to order. Very clean. And the lot. Even though it's a small, it's very well maintained. Wish there was more places like this. Oh yeah, it's very small. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen and like five and the three or four in the back. Yeah, Crazy K is... K's a wild one now. K's a wild one. I just want everybody to know that. Three hours and 47 minutes. It'll be four hours more. If I leave at 7, I'll get there by 11. That'll give me time to drop. And i have the rest of the afternoon to go pick another one up. Knowing my luck, it'll be tomorrow night. Love y'all guys. I'll get back with y'all. Stay southbound, baby. What's going on, southbound truck driver? Back at you again. Guys, I'm not even BSing you. I'm not even making this up. God, I wish I was making this up. It's been eight hours. Eight hours. It is. They're just not calling me back. They're just not calling me back. I'm gonna get loaded today. I thought it's gonna be tomorrow. 8.51 at night. All right guys, I'm going back. I guess y'all good luck. I've been here nine, oh, eight hours. All right, bye. Yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. Bye. Southbound again. I'm tell you what, guys. If there ain't one thing I don't, I mean, if there ain't one thing I love the most about life, and that's driving trucks. I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you and say I don't, because I do. King, I ain't got no light. I ain't got no light, boy. I'm gonna get my light. <clears throat> Let me find my light. Uh. All right, 
so yeah that looks a little rough but they said put edge protectors on it so it does the job like I said there's a there's a lot of straps on it 12 overall that's how we do it here at Jordan Carriers we make sure that thing's strapped but what man make sure it's strapped it ain't going nowhere and I'm gonna tell you what you come here and think you're gonna buck you're gonna do it how you want they gonna find out and when they find out you're gonna get in trouble so the thing is you might as well do it the right way the first time every time it is what it is you ain't gonna come over here and you ain't gonna change nothing you're gonna have to do it their way or you gonna get called in the safety's office i'm tell you what you get called safety's office you might as well be uh getting your tow getting your uh uh a u-haul truck take all your stuff home if you got a lot of stuff i got a lot of stuff tv refrigerators microwave <sighs> i'm fixing the downsize fixing downsize oh i got some new glasses the other day guys i didn't show y'all these oh boy y'all don't know about southbound hold on hold on hold on hold on that uh let 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 pimp daddy came get his glasses on boy i tell y'all what huh i tell y'all what my wife bought me these on the trip boy y'all see southbound coming down the road y'all better pull it over pull it over and ride everybody a ticket with that, stay southbound, baby. All right, guys, this is Jimmy Southbound Truck Driver back at you again. Uh, says we ain't gonna be there at one o'clock if we leave now. They're telling me just to wait till Monday and drop. Go home for the weekend. Somebody will call me back. I don't know. Miles and miles. We're currently at uh Citronel. Citronel BP. Now I used to deliver Pepsi's to this BP. Anybody knows anything about Citronelle, y'all know about this VP. Yeah, I used to deliver Pepsi to this place when I worked for Buffalo Rock. Ain't nothing changed. They had a restaurant tied onto it at one point. Um, it's not open no more. They got a little restaurant in the back of the gas station right there. But there's never no food out. And I noticed something about these. Goodbye. Bye bye. I noticed something about these truck stops like this. The food is way overpriced. Like, I stopped at one and bought a, uh, I bought a hamburger and french fries, and I told them, I said, I want a hamburger 
and I want a small little tater wedge because I wouldn't try to spend much money. And I was thinking like the hamburger and the small tater wedge, it was probably like six little baby sized tater wedges. Um, I thought it was gonna probably be maybe like, you know, I'm sure the hamburger was gonna be like five or six dollars. And I was thinking maybe the tater wedge is probably gonna be like 250. And they're bringing it at about like, let's say six, 950, maybe 10 bucks. It was $13. $13. That dude right there is wearing a coat like he's in the Arctic. I mean, it's... I'm getting a little hot with this long sleeve on, but I didn't take a bath last night. Um... Well, I kind of feel better these days, you know, that the, uh, oh, I got to put my glasses on when I talk. I forgot. I have to have these glasses on when I do videos from now on. My wife, she says I look handsome when I wear these glasses, but you know, all wives got to say that. Um... So this month I did good on my subscriptions. I got a I got 20 subscriptions this month. I'm at $30, $33 on my uh YouTube money. When I get a hundred, I'm cashing out. I'm gonna do a giveaway. Someone would say, South Baron, why don't you put it back in your camera? You know, buy you a better lens or something. Well, I want to, but I promised y'all that I would do a giveaway and give away everything I had my first go around. I'm gonna, that's how I'm going to do it. My first go around, I'm going to give away the whole hundred. I'm going to do it in four increments, 25, 25, 25, 25. I'm going to do four giveaways and I'm just going to cash up it to you. Boom, 25 bucks. That's somebody's, like, gas for the day. Maybe a half a meal. Maybe, you know, they got uh, $9 entrees or at, at Applebee's and stuff like that. You know, you might can get you, take you and your old lady out to eat at uh, Burger King, 25 bucks. That's on Southbound. You know what I mean? So that's the least I can do. I really ain't supposed to be moving this truck until they tell me to. So that's why I'm still sitting here. I try to call her. I told them that I was gonna um stay out this weekend. And just come home next weekend. But she told me go ahead and go to the house. So something must be up. I told her I'm going to sit still and wait on you to call me back. There goes Pepsi right there. Pepsi! I don't know, guys. I guess we'll take a nap. I've called her, I've texted her. She ain't wrote me back. 
I don't know what to do. I know I'm not moving this truck unless they tell me to. I've seen people get in trouble for that before. She tells me to sit. By God, I'm sitting. I'm not moving. Alright guys, well y'all know I love y'all. I don't know what I just got a lot of stuff in my mind. Um just got a lot of stuff in my mind. I'm so fortunate to have this camera. Jesus, I waited two almost two years to get this little camera right here. Almost two years. And I tell you what, it means the world to me. I'm gonna tell you what, I got it for a Christmas present from uh, my mom. And she, she's amazing. My mom, she is really, really amazing. Um, I couldn't ask for a better mom. I mean, she has done so much for me more than I could ever ask for. I mean, it blows my mind, you know, the amount of love that she gives me. Oh, I need a shower. I wonder if this place has got a shower. No shower. I'm gonna try to get on. I'm trying to s sign on to Twitch and just live stream all day. Just live stream all day. Well, my battery's about to go dead. Let me crank the truck on up so I can charge my batteries. Not the truck battery's going dead, the camera battery's going dead. <laughs> Try not to get it too dead because, uh, hands got caught. Because they said, you know, it's not good to drain your batteries all the way. But did y'all see this thing I got right here? My camera come with this case, guys. with this case and I got 51 accessories I want y'all to take a look at all these accessories I got there's the insulation guide y'all can pause this video if y'all want there's the insulation guide but here's all the accessories that come with it yeah I got all that stuff. And like I said, here's my battery pack. I love this case. Here's my battery pack. So, simply just take this out, remove a fresh, all these are fresh batteries. These have never been used. I'm not, I'm not gonna use these. In fact, I need to take these out. So they don't keep getting charged. Take them out, put them up, and replace my battery. It's a, this is the battery company. Tillerson.
it's awesome i love it charge only pacific charger yeah these are awesome and then they got these little tabs right here that helps you pull the battery out yeah they're awesome all right guys well let me go so i can uh oh they don't want to fit see that the wrong way they don't like to be they don't like to fit right way they go right on in all right guys well let me uh let me change batteries and i'll get back with y'all and let y'all know what we're doing and i'm probably going to go home and download all these videos today or tonight while the grandbaby's asleep i love y'all miss y'all and the most important thing of the day is stay southbound baby